Hi there, good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. And I'm going to be doing a couple of videos today. Hopefully, you will enjoy those. I have a couple of individual reviews and one comparison video or, you know, like a war, tug of war or something like that. So, uh, it's time is around 9.45 here at Dhaka. It's very sunny, very hot, sickeningly hot. It's getting worse and worse with time. So, a few days back, we recorded one of the highest temperature in last some 40 years or so in this region. So that is crazy to be honest like more than 40 50 years we haven't seen heat like this right bangladesh haven't seen so uh, this region i don't know what's going on we are waiting for rain and all that hopefully it will come soon and uh, today sorry i just woke up a while back sorry for the bad hair day yesterday a long day so we couldn't do videos i was very exhausted i passed out sort of so uh, the review that i'm gonna do let's start the review uh, I, I have a few things to do today as it is coming you know our holiday is coming so uh, they are you know a lot of office and everything is going to be closing soon so we have to finish our work before the it starts so uh sorry scent of the morning today i'm wearing portrait of a lady finally i got my one of my dream fragrances i'm very happy about it i'll talk about it in some other episode but i'm wearing that i uh, just one spray here uh, because it's very strong so one of the master masterpiece of a fragrance so let's look at an indian brand it's called beardo okay and i think that's how it goes beardo mm -hmm. and fragrance called whiskey smoke edp concentration this is a 100 ml bottle and I have just the bottle. I bought this uh, like as a partial, almost full, I think around 90 something mil and uh, from a brother. And, uh, you know, uh, these are not very expensive fragrances. Okay. But, uh, you know, you know, people who follow me, you know, from India and then people who understand these brands, local brands, they want to, you know, they always ask me, why can you do reviews on these? So I really wish in Bangladesh, we don't have all the brands, but whenever I get a chance, I try to buy and review. So hopefully you'll appreciate it. And I want to review so many more from this house and there are many others. So one thing I was interested here, I can tell by the name, the name is dope. <laughs> a whiskey smoke, two of my favorite things in a fragrance, okay? Booze and tobacco. So smoke, tobacco depends, you know, is it a smoky one, is it tobacco or is it just like a ashy, we'll see. And there's another thing, there's an actress called Chitrangada Singh. She's one of my favorite actresses. And um, I like her personality, those who are from India, or even who watch Bollywood films, they would know her. She is one of those personalities, you know, like her voice is very, very deep. Like some of the characters, I'm sorry, I'm going to go a little bit, uh, you know, out of the line and say, you know, like out of the focus and say, like actresses like Sushmita Sen, uh, this lady, Chichangada Singh, and few of the other ladies, I actually uh, respect them a lot, you know, because they have this persona, uh, which uh, sort of like defines them and set them apart, Vidya Balan, you know. So these actresses, I have very special Tajul, <laughs> sorry. Those my Indian friends, they understand my emotions because I used to watch a lot of films. So she was in the ad for this and there was another guy, I think, that was it Kunal Kapoor? I forgot who was the other dude. So they were in the ad of this, right? So I saw the ad, I was like, I want this amber looking bottle and the name, everything intrigued me, that ad. And it's a very nice presentation. Let's start the thing. It reminds me of Rasas' Enteba bottle sort of shape, but the glass is amber. I don't know the juice color. Nice little sticker. I haven't seen the box. So thank you, brother, for sending it my way. Um, whoever I got it from, brother, thank you so much. So uh, the cap, it's plastic, but got good weight. And I think it's painted chrome. And the uh, atomizer on these are okay, not bad. Okay. Like this much. It's okay. Why am I saying it's okay? Because of the price range. Uh, this fragrance perhaps sells for 1500 rupees or I don't know, give or take like 2500 tata means around. Maximum you have to pay in Bangladesh if you bring, bring it, maybe 25 to $35. So uh, if it's $35, it's expensive. But if it's Indian price, if you can get it from India, I think it's 15 to $20. So I'm calling it as a budget fragrance and the budget fits everybody. Anybody can afford it. So I sort of tested this fragrance for a few days, a couple of days to see. Because at first when I sprayed it, I was very disappointed with the performance. You know, When I sprayed this, what happened with me is that the fragrance felt like it's gone from the skin in half an hour or so i was very disappointed i'm like no you know so much promise so much you know like expectation then you know it doesn't perform so i went to one of the shops and i met the brother who sort of i think brother who was the brother i'm so sorry i i talk to so many brothers nowadays I, he knows who he is so he's not living far from me he's a very nice guy so he told me he i met him you know for the very first time he said brother did you get the bottle I'm, yeah yeah like, how do you like it? I said, yeah, I like it a lot, but it doesn't perform. He was very surprised. He said, how long did you get? I said, around 40 minutes. It was gone one hour. He was like, that's surprising because it lasts more than that. So I'm like, I decided not to be too quick to judge. So I gave it a little bit more time before doing the review. 
So I tested it again at home. Then what I realized that very day I tried few of the other fragrance on my arms. Okay, I had <laughs> Montel Oud Amazing on my hand. So you can understand that is a beast. So compared to the other fragrance, will feel like shy, you know, like gone. So I tried again. Then I got decent longevity. I got in the warm weather in the AC room. I got three hours, four hours, you know. So it's not that bad. Okay, so performance wise, this is not a beast. Longevity is okay, but projection is like initial blast is very nice. It's half an hour or so projects a lot. But I think this is mostly a winter perfume. This is one thing. The warm weather, this fragrance, do not even think about it. Okay. I'll talk about the scent profile. Um, but <clears throat> the performance wise, if you stay in the office and you do not get whole day. Okay. I, I, I would imagine you will not get like Burberry's London, perhaps covers you for six hours or so. CK, you know, like some of the other fragrances, you know, this will not cover your whole works. Uh, uh, work hours okay working hours so for me this is a three to four hours of longevity projection is initial half an hour after that people come close to you they can feel it but i would say go heavy because you see the sprayers are small so uh, go like a little bit heavy on the clothes perhaps it'll last longer so uh, let's go a little bit here okay just for the the sprayer is not that great to be honest the distribution is less so coming to the scent profile okay oh sorry the season as i told you already uh, winter heavy Cooler weather, like mild cold weather, if it rains, if it's cloudy, overcast conditions, and you have AC, especially very important, you have to have AC, work, uh, air conditioning going. If you have high heat, you go out, boom, it's gone. It's like gone in not 60 seconds, 30 seconds, you will feel like it's already <laughs> joking. And if you go out in the sun, this will not really last. It will go very, very quickly, fade away. But if you stay in the AC, like it's cooling a little bit, it will have a little bit more uh, mercy on you. So now the smell. The most important thing of this fragrance is the way it smells. I'm not disappointed with the smell at all. Okay. I did not have any clue. It's a blind buy. It's a cheap fragrance. I didn't get it for a very expensive price. Like I got it like for under $15. So I didn't pay full retail or anything. So he gave me a very good price. So this fragrance, keep it in mind in Bangladesh, if you want to import, it will go up to $25, $30. It's not that cheap. It's not, you're not going to get it under $15. Okay. Unless you go to India. So same profile on this is very lovely very lovely you know it's not exactly what i expected like zara uh rich warm and addictive you know is it rich warm and addictive that coconutty kind of like a hair vibe i thought i would get something intense sweetness of it booziness or a little bit of smoke tobacco like pipe tobacco uh it actually surprised me because there is the sweetness of it there's this amber there's hint of spice like hugo boss uh one of the fragrance hugo boss bottled uh, oud i get the kind of a cinnamony ambery sort of vibe it's sweet it's not that spicy but it has kind of a mild darkness it's kind of woody amber a uh, little bit citrus but mostly dominant by mild spicy sweet notes with amber okay that's what i got from this fragrance and uh, whiskey you have to imagine your whiskey in this i mean if you look for it you'll find it but i'm not going to say it's the most booziest fragrance i ever tried like pure malt okay i love the fragrance straight up from the word go it's boozy man it's 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 boozy, you know it, you know it, you, your whiskey and you know your malt is boozy. This fragrance, you have to understand, okay. Uh, this is in the same territory as I'll give you some names. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. A little bit of ambery sweetness, mild spices, but it's sweeter compared to that. Dolce & Gabbana is higher class than this. Uh, similar, some of the warm, like uh, Davidoff's one fragrance, I don't remember the name, I have it somewhere. Uh, maybe... What can I think? I I have smelled this DNA before, you know, like many fragrances, but it's not exact pinpoint cloned on a clone of anything. Like if you're asking me what is this cloning, I cannot tell you because I haven't smelled exactly like this. Perhaps if you like fragrance like David of hot water, you know, a little bit spicy, a little bit of a booziness, you know, like a little bit warm, you know. So this one gives you that occasion to wear this. I would imagine this has to be very good for close encounters. Okay, you spray someone on your pillow. Let's say when I have a, you know, like a, you know. Happy time, you know what I'm <laughs> halal man, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking. Cannot be too naughty, you know. So I'm saying like you're not gonna be intimate with your partner, or you know you're just gonna be like she's gonna be close to you. You're gonna be like you know intimate, right? So you're gonna have some sweet time and stuff. So this is the perfect fragrance. And like dinner, if you put some of it on, you'll detect it. She'll detect it if you're sitting in a close proximity. But if you're going outdoors, okay, this is fragrance I will not recommend. Uh, another place you can wear this for your workplace it will be very light after two hours you know you'll feel it if the ac is blowing on the fan if you have it on your neck you'll smell it but not so strong so the versatility wise this is not super versatile okay i would say this is more like a shy fragrance but the strength of it is the beautiful bottle the name and the uh 
scent profile that's the most important thing so would, should you be looking at it i don't know beardo is a company is it like a grooming company i don't know about their company but uh, perhaps this fragrance uh, perhaps it's uh, they also have other products perhaps maybe the you know hair products or the beard products you know those things they have but i'm interested in this fragrance and i think i like it a lot for the price that i pay absolute happy no complaint whatsoever if you can get this under 20 dollars it's still pretty much worth it okay but if let's say your criteria is like i'm gonna spend 20 bucks i can get a rasa si fatan or something like it go for that one those gonna make you happier if you buy shura like add a little bit more money and get shura you get a hundred times more performance than this okay if you buy even dolce and gabbana the one you'll get more performance but remember the prices on those and price on these so uh yeah a little bit disappointed with the push could have added a little bit more uh perfume oil concentration but i think it's more like those zara fragrances miniso fragrance that you buy a little bit better than miniso not a little bit it's a better than miniso but zaras are better okay somewhere between zara and miniso i hope i could uh, portray a picture uh if you have to have this uh is it the most unique fragrance out there no well, let me just go one more uh, let me see if i can get the boozy okay because i'm not getting it i have to do double shots okay so it doesn't click on to place the cap okay and there's a sticker underneath is it made in india or oh, the wording the words are so tiny man ah uh, edp oh <laughs> uh, it's so not edp bro <laughs> i'm sorry i don't want to mock the fragrance i'm just in a good mood okay i had fine sleep overnight uh, you know so it was good so this one it's edc concentration in my humble opinion it's a good cologne concentration for me um i am a little bit disappointed let down with the performance but the smell category i'll give it a nine out of ten very nice fragrance very very nice beautiful perfume if you ever want, wanted to buy it that you know a slight bit of sexiness you know like xerius rouge it reminds me of something of those nature a little bit mysterious the opening glass is beautiful sexy and i think uh, i'll rate it a little bit higher than what i was going to give it i was going to give it like a 6.5 okay to be honest but then price point is good my presentation is good the smell is beautiful i'll give it like a 7.5 out of 10 okay but the same profile remember i gave it nine so check it out whiskey smoke very nice concept very beautiful smell the performance kind of sucks <laughs> i'm sorry so that's it uh, let's move on to the second video then we'll upload this in time take care